Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Edo Blossoms, where we're doing Keisuke Sanon's Unrequited Love Ending. And I don't know if I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm expecting sadness. Main reasons, because I love this boy. Also, his Unrequited Love Ending in Kyoto Wins was one of the saddest in that game. It was really good, so I'm kind of expecting the same kind of level here. So anyway, we're in Chapter 4. We got low romance, low corruption, and we're only changing one choice here in chapter four, and that's saying nothing is for certain. And I almost picked that the first time around because I wasn't really sure where both of these lines were gonna go. But I picked correctly last time, and this time, well, I'm technically picking correctly for the ending I'm going for, but you know. Let's get into it. Nothing is for certain yet. I felt compelled to wrap my hands around Sanon's face and draw him in closer so that his eyes were inches from my own. Forget what my father said. We have no idea of whether or not he was lying when he told you that Furies cannot become humans again. Aren't there other means you could experiment with? Well, yes, but... Then let's fight it until the very end! Until we verify the truth, you can't give up! All right, and we're back. We're back to normalcy. Oh, we're still gonna get smooched on the unrequited love ending. Great. A sharper dagger in my heart. Love it. <laughs> okay, and we still give him blood in the unrequited love ending. Gotta keep that corruption low. So... From this, I'm kind of expecting somewhat of a similar unrequited love ending to Hajime's where like Heisuke kind of escorts us out of here and then goes back and is like I just found Sanan's glasses he uh he said he loved you and uh, yeah <laughs> to take care of you basically where would you like to go that's kind of what I'm expecting but Something along those lines, because, yeah. The ruse with Heisuke still went through, so Heisuke's still here. Uh, I'm just... Oh, no. What's gonna change? What's it gonna be? But that's, that's kind of my thoughts, anyway. But I don't know when the turning point will be. Will it be when Kaoru stabs Dad? When he Kaoru tries to stab me? Okay, Dad's gonna try and drink the stuff. So let's see what happens. I shall wash my hands of you, then spend the rest of my days researching methods of rejuvenating my body so that I may live forever! Father cackled to our dismay, and then put the glass vial to his lips, swallowing the serum in one gulp. Kaoru, you were too slow. <sighs> Father's eyes shined malevolently as he pointed his fervent gaze over towards Sen. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> oh my, this is incredible! I've never felt power like this before. No one can stand in my way. Not even the princess of Yase, nor the demon of the West. I cannot lose! Prove it! Let's go! What? His aura is unlike anything I've ever seen! Princess, step back! Ow! Ugh! The force of father shoved Blue Sen back several feet. And with his other hand, he knocked Kimikiku with a swift punch to her chest. Like Sen mentioned, Father radiated a terrifying energy enhanced by his consumption of the serum. His muscles bulged from inside his kimono, and with a cool smack, he bla blasted Sen and Kimikiku across the room. He puffed his chest sharply. Well, I'm getting my answer as to what happens when you double dose. <laughs> I was right! All of my research has paid off! He formed his lips into a satisfied smile before locking his hands together, charging up his latent energy. Sanan, however, was unafraid of Father's display. 
He merely stared back at Father, and there appeared to be a hint of sympathy twinkling in his eye. I pity you for having wantonly thrown away your only chance of living. A worm until the very end. Oh. Sanan didn't use his fury powers in the good ending. He's gonna become a dusty Sanan. This makes me sad. I suppose that the least I could do for you is help facilitate a warrior's death. Consider it a courtesy. I'll bark and no bite. You stand no chance against me. As the two sprinted forward to clash into one another, sparks flew from the clang of their blades meeting. Father, at least visibly, was the stronger of the two. However, Sanon deflected each of the jabs aimed towards his abdomen by Father's scalpel. You may possess faster reflexes, but they are no substitute for knowledge of the blade. You took the easy route, whereas I dedicated entire months of my life, training day in and day out, to the craft of my swordsmanship. Technique is learned through the application of repetition, which is something no serum could ever imitate. His muttered words fell deaf on Father's ears, who continued to swing with vicious aplomb. Finally, Sanan deflected an incoming slash, exposing Father's abdomen, and Sanan dove his blade into his opponent's heart. Wh what? Th this cannot be! Father lowered his guard, and Sanan peeked at Heisuke from his peripheral, watching his comrade easily subdue Kaoru and the rest of the Rogue Furies. Shout out to Heisuke! It ends here, Kodo. <laughs> True. Suppose it couldn't have been any other way. Though, Sanan, the end is not mine alone to savor. It appears you're joining me in hell. What? No! Before I could realize what was happening, I rushed over to Sanon, whose face was awestruck. Oh gosh, don't let him disappear right as I touch him. As I placed my hand softly on his shoulder. Dang. I felt a crumble, and soon his flesh began dissolving like dust in the palm of my hand. This is worse than Hayes K coming out to bring me news. My time has come, it seems. How unfortunate. N no You can't die yet! There's still so much that we need to do! So much I have to tell you! My world was falling apart in front of me. Oh, that's so sad. I felt numb to my surroundings. Sanon turning to sand, melting into the ground. It was a harsh reality, and I was overcome with regret. I couldn't contain myself from crying, and soon a deluge of tears began streaming down my hot cheeks. How poetic. All my life, I never once imagined I'd have someone to cry for me. <laughs> Sanan, how dare you bring poetry up at a time like this? That alone is a light in this dark, solemn time. As the hushed words left Sanan's mouth, pieces of his body would begin to chip from the bottom up. Oh gosh, it's gonna end up there? No, not from the bottom up. It's just gonna make it last longer. His feet were little more than piles of ash, but his face, pale and serene, was perfectly intact. A tiny smile curled in his lips before he muttered. Yukimura, pardon me if this sounds selfish. But there is a favor for which I have been meaning to ask. What is it? Please, leave your memory of me behind. You still have a future, and you must go on living without me. Please, forget our time together. Find another, one who can give you what you need. Happiness. <laughs> is that... What you want, Sanan? If I were to leave your memory behind, and there came a day where I found the heart of another, 
if that person wasn't you. Would you really be okay with that? I've no choice. Sanon, please. If this is our final moment together, I just want you to tell me how you feel about us. I couldn't help but quiver from sobbing. Sanon's breaths were pained and shallow, but he still managed to eke out a kind smile. Allow me, then, to tell you my wish. Forget about me. P please honor me and forget about me. Before he could finish his sentence, the affliction moved to his face and he disintegrated entirely. I stared blankly at the pile of ashes, and another agonizing wave of tears slid down my face. That's not f fair, Sanon. I c can't... I can't promise you that. I buckled and fell to my knees, clutching fistfuls of ashes in my hands and holding them against me. I am so close to crying. They spilled, like all things do, from my delicate hands. He was gone, carried along with the bitter wind. Oh no, is that where it ends? It just ends there. Huh. I'm, I'm amazed that it ended there. Like a lot of the other ones, the ending like goes on for quite a while. <laughs> oh man, this is unrequited love ending number two to draw tears from me in this game. Ugh. I knew I knew I was gonna cry though. I just like, dang you, Sana, <laughs> you coward. Ugh, not a coward though. He he chose not to tell her he loved her, in the hope that she would let him go and live her life because <laughs> he loved her <laughs> I'm a broken shell of a person oh, the tears oh no oh I gotta stop crying <laughs> uh, well at least I have tissues <laughs> oh at least there wasn't a CG for that one like Soji's Soji's I think was worse in a way because you saw the light leave his eyes and that like that just destroyed me. <laughs> I'm starting to cry more thinking about Soji's unrequited love ending. Oh no. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyway, that was a good that was a good one. We still saw the bad guys. It's just that the hero didn't survive. And that also that unrequited love ending made sense. He used his fury powers in that fight, and that was like the straw that broke the camel's back for him to turn into dust. So I did. I liked that it made sense. <clears throat> right. <sighs> well, now that that's done, <laughs> I'm okay. Like I'm hoping bad endings. I just die. I can deal with that a lot better. <laughs> Even if Sanon's the one to kill me, I don't care. I almost enjoy those. <laughs> just because I like to see the guy just lose it. I will be shocked if Sanon doesn't lose it in one of the bad endings and kills us. But maybe he'll surprise me. The Colonel has been nothing but surprising the entire time, so I ain't counting out any more surprises just yet. So that being said, next time we'll get into the bad endings, guys. If you want to join me for that, hopefully I'll see you over there.